So for the law of sines, we have we can use it if you have two sides and an included angle, or two angles and an including side. If we have these two cases, I will use the law of sines. Now, let's start now with this example here. Here now we have triangle as you see. Its name is P Q R. <laughs> I think you solved this. We solved this one instead of this, right? Yeah, we solved it. Okay, now here. Yeah. In the triangle K L M, K L M. Angle K is 120. And a measure of angle M is 50. And the length of ML is 35. ML is 35. What is the length of KL? I need now to find the length of this side. Now, as we say, if we have now an two angles with none including side, Oh, with with the included side, sorry, with two angles, yeah. not included side. Yes. So if we have two angles and an included side, we have to use the law of sine. Okay, these are the two angles, and included side. I mean this side, not an included side. I mean this one and this one. So here we two have two angles and an included side. And now we, why we have to know this? Or why we have to analyze? The graph in order to know shall I use the law of sine or law of cosine? Here, two angles and then included sine. So I have to use now the law of sine. Law of sine means that I have to look at the angle and its opposite side. The angle and its opposite side. If for three of them are written or are found or unknown, I can find it. So here we can say sine of 120 over 35, sine of K over LM over equal sine of 50 over, over K. Sine of the angle over its opposite side. Then by cross product. 35 sine 50 will be equals KL <coughs> sine 120. 100. So then, now where's my calculator? Stop trying to give me to find the answer. Until I here you have to multiply so in order to find KL you have to say 35 sine 50 over sine 120. Teacher, I found the answer. It is 30.9. 30.9. 9. So the length of KL is 30.9 yards. This is here the law of sines. I need two angles and an included side, or two sides with non included angles. This is here how to use the, so the law of sine the angle with, which, uh, with its opposite side, and another angle which with its opposite side. Let's solve now a second case here. <laughs> we have two sides and non included angle.
in the triangle R S T. Angle oh T small. T small here, it's mean this is the opposite side of angle T. This is T small. And this is R small, and this is S small. So T small is seven. R small is nine. The measure of angle R is 110. Find the measure of angle S. So here, what did you have? You have two sides and non-included angle. Since we have two sides and non-included angle. But teacher, is it between the two sides? I'm talking about 110. Oh, okay. So two sides and none. Then here, what you have to do? We need now to find the measure of angle S. Now, yeah, let's see. I have measure of angle R and I have R. And I have the measure of angle T. But I need to find the measure of angle S. I think we should find the measure of angle T first and then S. Yeah. Here we yeah. have two steps. First step, we have to measure the angle, a measure of angle T. Then we have to measure the, uh, we find the measure of angle S. We use the law of sine first in order to find the measure of angle T. After we found the measure of angle T, we have now T and R, we can find S. Let's see here now. <coughs> R and its opposite side, T and its opposite angle. So, sine R over R small must be sine T over T small. Now, sine of R, I mean sine of 110. Over R over 9 must be sine of T over 7. Over 7. Then now, <coughs> sine of 110 times 7 equals sine T times 9. Yeah, so uh, 7 sine 110 will be 9 sine t. So sine t will be 7 sine 10 over uh, sine 110 over 9. So what's the value of sine t will be? Try to find it clear because I don't know where's my calculator. Is it 46.8? Ah, you found now into the angle, not sine t. Okay. So yeah, sine as Hani said, 46.8. <coughs> so now after this step here, So now the measure of angle T, 46.8. Now then, here what did we have? We have now T, 46.8, R, 110. Now we need to find the measure of angle S. Add 110 and 46.8 and subtract them from 180. Bravo. So here. Angle S will be 180 minus. Is it 23.2? 46.8. Yeah. So the answer will be? 23.2.
23.2. This is here the measure of angle S. Is it clear? Yeah, teacher, is there another way to find this angle from the law of signs or no? No. Yeah, okay, just like that. Right, um, as an example. You know, I can use the law of cosines here too, right? No, I have for law of sign. For the law of cosine, yes. As I'm just here, two steps. First, law of sign, then the measurement, the summation of the angle theorem. If I'm asking you as an example, find uh, angle S, uh, sorry, uh, find the RT. The measure of RT. Law of signs again. So yeah, here what you have to do after we found S, which we found first T, then we use T to find S. After we find the measure of angle S, we will law, use the law of sign in order to find S small or RT. Okay, okay teacher, thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Now here. In the triangle PQR, <coughs> measure of angle R, 97.5, R small, 80, P small, 75, what's the measure of angle P? Now here, so sine P over 75 will be sine 97.5 over 80. This is a direct one. So 75 sine 97.5 will be 80 sine P. So sine P will be 75 over 80 sine 97.5. So what's the measure of angle P will be? Find it. Is it? Yes, uh, the answer will be zero point ninety two. Okay, so angle P. Yeah, angle P. Okay, wait. It will be 66.9. 66.9 degree. Thank you. Okay. okay. Now, in this problem here, we have to use the law of sign to solve a problem. Now, some of you now think that math is just like a numbers we need to solve them on the uh, on paper and there's no use for the law of sine or sine or law of cosine no we use them we use them as you see here here we have a mountain and up the, of the mountain we have a point c and a 
this we have A and B, and they need now the survey locates point A and B at the some, same elevation and mirror distance and the angles as vector. Now here, sometimes they say that we know that what is the length or what is the uh, highest of this mountain, the long of this mountain, they know it. I've now. They say that if I know the length, or if I want now, uh, or if I have point A and if I have point B, and I can now the measure the distance between them, they are 3,950 3, feet. And then they, they want now to find point C of the distance from A to C or from C to D. They found that I want to find the angle of elevation or I want to find now the long of the, of the mountain. So they use math. They say, it, if I found this distance, I can find the angle, I can find the long, and I find, can find many things. I can solve everything in order we are using law of sine or law of cosine or the trigonometric ratios according to which triangle I'm talking about. <clears throat> they found that A, the distance from A to B is a 3950. And the measure of angle C, A, B is 18 degree, and C, B, D is 31 degree. <clears throat> now they want to find B, C. He want to find the B, C, which is the distance from B to the summit. Now here, first step, when you want to find B, C, this is B, C. You want to find now its length. First now try to find this angle. <clears throat> because we know that if this is 31, what's the angle of A, B, C will be? 180 minus 80 because it's supplementary. 180 minus 31. So then, the answer will be 149. 149. <laughs> Okay, so here, 149 degree. So this angle here is 149 degree. Now then, what did we have? We have two angles, 149 and 18, and an included side. So then, this is 18, we need to find this one. So now we can use the law of sine here because we have angle 18, and we need to find BC, which is the opposite side. And we have 149, so we can use this distance. We can use the sign here in order to find, oh, but we don't have it here. <clears throat> so, teacher? Yes. Teacher, we can find the side AC by trigonometric ratios, right? By AC? Yeah, yeah, we can find it by saying the opposite of 18 is... Um, no, wait, this is the opposite of 18? No, for the trigonometric ratios, here you, have, have, the side. you have the link only of AB. Here, what do we have to do? Here we have to find, in this triangle here, we need to find CB. So CB, in order to find it here, right on this side, we have sine of 18 over CB or BC equals sine of C over 3950. So now we need, in order to find BC, we need to find sine C. Now to find sine C, if you look at this triangle here. They are equal 180. 
Here we have 149. Here we have 18. So we can find the measure of the angle BCA, which is 118 plus 149 minus 180. Yeah, it will be equal. It will be equal to 13. 13 degrees? <clears throat> yeah. OK. So then now we found the ACB. This is ACB. Then. So sine of 18 over BC will be sine of C. Now we found sine of C, the measure of the angle ACB by subtracting 180 minus 18 plus 149. So we find that it is 13 degree. Then sine of 13 degree over 3950. Now by cross product. 3950 times sine 18 will be BC. So now 3950 sine 18 over sine 13 degree. So it will be 5,000. So the length of ABC would be 5,426.145. So here we found now that the length from or the distance from my point B up to the longest point of the mountain will be uh, 5,426. Is it clear? Yeah, but this is, can you wait just a second like to concentrate about it? Yes, teacher, okay. Okay. Now, after we find BC and we say that it was 5,000. Uh, 5,426. And after we found that this is 149 <clears throat> and this is 13. Now we need to find CD. Where's CD? This CD. Which is the distance, the height of the mountain above A and B. Now, if you look at the triangle of ACD, A, C, D. Oh, sorry. This is D and this is C. And here we have 90 degree, as we know, because this is a right triangle. And here we have 18 degree. So what's the measure of angle C will be? Will be 90 minus 18, which is 72. And then, so this angle here is 72. If this part of oh, B, C, A is 13, so B, C, D will be 72 minus 13, which is 59. So here now, for this triangle here, we have now 
for the small triangle now. We have here 59, we have here 31, and we know that the length of the hypotenuse is 5,426, 5, and we need now to find the length of this side. So here, how can we find? And we have two angles which included the side. We can, because this is right, we can just say the sine 31 equals the opposite, which is unknown over the hypotenuse, which we know. Yeah, so here, the right triangle, we have to, we can use the right of the trigonometric ratios. That we can say sine of 31, because we need to find the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is known. So sine of 31, will be, this is the C. This will be CD over the hypotenuse. And teacher, we can use the law of science, right? We can say that uh, sine 31 over CD mm -hmm. equal, um, no wait. Sine 90 over 5. Yeah, sine 90 5, over 5, 4, 2, It will be the same, yeah. So then here, 5,000. 426 sine 31. So we will find that the length of CD would be 2794.59 feet. By this way now, we can find the highest of the height of the mountain. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now what do we have now? We have two minutes left. Yeah, let's solve this question here. Here now we need to find the area of the triangle ABC. A. B, C. If the measure of angle C is 68 degree and the B small is 12.9 and C small is 15.2. Now, when you want to find the area, what did we need? We need two sides and none inclu and, uh, included an angle. angle between them. Okay, we need an SI two sides, an angle between them. But here, 68 is not an included angle. So how can we find the area? The sine law in order to find yeah. angle B. First, we have to use the sine of law of sine. Then after that, we go to use how we can find the area. Sine or law of sine help me to find the measure of angle B. So then, sine B over 12.9 will be sine of 68 over 15.2. So sine of B will be sine of 68 times when times 12.9 over 15.2. Sine of 68 times 12.9 divided by 15.2 will be 0.7. Eight, six. So B will be sine inverse of the answer. So angle B will be 51.8 degree approximately or 0.9. So after we found, or after we use the law of sine, what did we find? We find B that is 51.9. So then B is 51.9, C is 68. What did we need now to find A? By adding 51.9 plus 68 minus 180. 180, you will, after you did this, you will find that this angle here is 60.1 degree. Now, to find the area, what did we need? As I told you, we need two sides. 
and included angle. And angle between them. And all of them now are known. So the area will be half 15.2 times 12.9 times sine 60.1. Two sides and the included angle. So then, 15.2 times half times 12.9 times sine of 60.1. We will find that the area will be 84 or 85. Uh, what's the unit? The, okay, 85 unit squared. That's okay, it. Sometimes if you need to solve the triangle, to solve the triangle means to find all the angles and all the sides, we can use the law of sine or law of cosine in order to find the area. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day, teacher. Have a nice day, teacher.